And my name is Tracy Vanderwalk. I'm a senior leader here at Epicure. Many of you know me, and there will be many of you here who don't know me. Uh, I've been with Epicure for about six and a half years, and I really just joined Epicure to get my own stuff for free. <laughs> that's why I'm here. And uh, everything that's kind of transpired with this business was just so unexpected, but I could not see myself doing anything else ever again, really. I love what I do. I love the people I've met. I love doing cooking classes like this. And, um, and I was just able to retire from my 23 year career as an RMT and sports therapist last year at the age of 44, thanks to this business. So I'm excited to share more of what it's all about, um, the way that we promote, you know, a, an easy, healthy, sustainable way of eating with this, our Epic Life program. And uh, I'm excited for you if you're joining us on the challenge. And if you're here tonight to learn more about that, I hope what we'll be doing is going to be answering some of your questions to decide if it's right for you. So I'm really excited because I didn't think I had my program kit. Uh, and it arrived today at 5 p.m., if you can believe it. So I haven't even opened the box, but I did know what recipe I was going to make for you tonight. So um, we are going to, we're going to talk throughout, but I'm going to be cooking while I'm doing it. I'm going to show you some of, the, well, I'm going to show you one recipe that's in our Epic Life program, because I always want people to see that our Epic Life program is not sort of your typical diet, right? We are not about diets here at Epicure. We are simply about eating real food, uh, everything that you will be eating when you're participating in the challenge is the same food that you're gonna be serving your family. There's no supplements, there's no um, pills or you know, just gimmicky type things. It's just simply real food recipes made in a way that uh, creates a, a good nutritional balance on your plate and gives you certain things uh, within the program and within the way that you're making your plate to help it be more uh, sustainable for you to eat that way, first of all, because we're not cutting out any foods, which is number one, uh, you know, who wants to cut out all of the good stuff, right? Uh, but as long as you're eating it in a healthy and uh, properly portioned way, you can really eat all kinds of foods. And that is what I'm all about. I'm all about promoting. I'm a huge foodie. I want people to see that you can really maintain a healthy weight, uh, feel good in your skin, you know, have lots of energy and, and really enjoy the food that you're eating. Um, and, and it can be quite simple and quite easy. So I've got my, I got my box. I'm going to show you what's in my box. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what we need tonight for our recipe. So I've got my wok on the stove and I've just got some water in there and I'm bringing it to a boil while we talk. I'm using my multi-purpose steamer. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about this. And if you do not have a multi-purpose steamer and you are on the challenge, this is one of the items that I, I usually would say it's fairly essential. And the reason being is it helps you make things so much quicker so much faster. So the chances of you continuing to cook this way are pretty high, right? So um, if you don't have a steamer, reach out to the consultant who invited you here tonight and tell them that it should be on your very next order. Okay. So what comes in the Epic Life collection? So we've got our Epic Life guide. This is really what uh, is really kind of like your Bible when you're, when you're learning this. So for someone like myself, I was on the pilot program back in 2016. I was asked to, to do this because uh, it really, for me, this is how I've always eaten. I grew up in Scotland. I ate three meals a day. I didn't get any snacks. Uh, and so it's just a, it's just a natural way for me to eat and it makes me feel good. Um, and uh, I had a lot of people who I was working with at the time who were using Epicure to maintain some healthy weight or lose a little bit of weight. And so I was asked to be part of the pilot and I got to share this program for free with some of my customers and we had a great success. And this is really 
something that helps you along the way in the beginning. It helps you to understand how to portion your plate and really understanding that any food is okay as long as it's eaten in the proper portions and cooked the right way, which of course we say is with Epicure Spices, right? For someone like myself, I don't really use this guide anymore. I can create all kinds of meals using the base of our Epic Life program and know what can go in it or what should go in it to create a healthy, balanced plate. And that's the beauty of this type of program. You will be learning a real sustainable way to eat moving forward. And it's not like one of those diets where you're on it and then you're off it and then you're on it and then you're off it. It's simply a way for you to, um, you know, practice good nutrition throughout your whole life and as well, put that forward into your family, your children, things like that. So we're going to look a little bit more about this. Um, you get this amazing journal with it. And this is something that if you are someone who needs to really be accountable and track what you're eating and are really focused on a very specific goal, such as weight loss, this would be something that's really, really important to you. And uh, you would be, you know, just writing in there, um, you know, writing your skill victories and your non skill victories, like, you know, I've been sleeping better, or I have more energy in the morning, whatever it is, this would be where you kind of track and record this, this kind of uh, stuff. And again, not everyone loves a journal. Uh, I probably wouldn't be someone who journals, but I kind of do this and I put everything out there on social media. So I guess this is kind of like my journal. I don't really need to write it down. Everyone knows everything about me. Um, so, but for some people, this is, you know, gold, right? You get all of your amazing spices that you're going to be using to create the meals. There's things like marinara, the balsamic vinegar, uh, dressing, the the vegetable broth, your dessert seasonings, fajita, Asian stir fry, all of those good things. You get a sample of our protein powder, the chocolate flavor. Again, if you were really someone who needed quick breakfasts on the go, I would suggest reaching out to your consultant and adding the protein powder, the full size container to your grocery list with Epicure, because this is something that you can use any morning, quick, easy, uh, you know, side of toast with nut butter and, uh, and a protein shake on the side, a protein smoothie. This is not a meal replacement. Okay. We're not gimmicks here. It's not a meal replacement. It is simply protein. You can bake with it. You can make protein muffins or protein pancakes for the morning. And it's really, really great. Um, it's a vegan protein as well. So really, really great flavor. And if you haven't seen my iced cappuccino video, I make little pick me ups instead of a coffee in the afternoon. I drink an ice cap with some protein powder in it. So if you want that recipe, you can reach out to your consultant and I will share that with them. So we've got our portion scoops. I'm going to open this and show you that this is something. Oh, let me put that on. This is something that really, really is what helps you, especially in the beginning. When you are creating a meal, it doesn't matter what goes into that meal. If you are portioning it properly, with these scoops, it takes the guesswork out. You don't have to count calories. You don't have to weigh or measure anything or weigh anything. Um, you simply are using your scoops. We've got our uh, protein scoop. So one scoop of protein and it comes with this little table. So again, you can build your own meals. You don't need to always follow the plan. Uh, we've got our greens and veggie scoops. Two veggie servings uh, usually, or if it's leafy greens, a little bit more. And our grain scoop, you know, you wanna eat white potatoes? Eat white potatoes, doesn't matter. Just make sure that they fit into this little scoop here. And, um, you know, and you're good, right? And that is a properly balanced plate. And we've got the final little one for our healthy fats. So think dressing, or um, if you're making a recipe with some cheese on top, you can fill up this scoop and put your cheese on. And those are the kinds of portions. And trust me, I've been doing this now for five years. And the first thing I hear all the time is, 
I can't believe I'm allowed to eat this much food. Okay. Um, this is a lot of food. When you are balancing your plate properly and choosing the right ingredients, you actually should be eating a lot. You know, when people share with me what they eat in a day when they're on a diet, I would probably like, I would probably die. <laughs> I, I, I would probably die. I need food, I need sustenance, and as do we all, right? So um, I really just want you to understand that this is really what we love promoting at Epicure. We are foodies, right? We're a food company. We don't want you to skimp out on food. We want you to enjoy what you're eating. And uh, a lot of the things that you'll go through on the Epic Life Challenge. So if you haven't signed up for the challenge, through home office, you're gonna to wanna to reach out to your consultant if you are participating. If you're purchasing the kit itself, you're going to wanna to reach out and talk to your consultant about getting that link to sign up. This is where you can follow the Epic Life Challenge from head office. They're going to give you actual challenges that you can complete. And uh, much of it is kind of a well-rounded, program and challenge. So it's not just about weight loss, right? Many people are on the challenge not to lose weight. Many are on the challenge to gain weight, to gain muscle, to, uh, you know, feel better after having a baby or, uh, or surgery, whatever it is, uh, there is something for everyone, but you do want to be signed up to that challenge because you can win cash and prizes by following that challenge and completing those steps. So that's just a little bit of a fun thing, as well as, you know, with anything like that, keeping us motivated and, uh, you know, having that support is, is key, right? For many of us, we need accountability to just stick with something, whether it's hard or not, just sticking with something is important, right? So my water's boiling here, so I'm just gonna take a quick pause. I'm going to pop in my first part of the recipe that we're using. So let me find it. I am going to make, now, so we've got about 15 minutes since I've been talking. I wanna show you how quick this dinner is going to take. So we are making this. I found this recipe and I thought this was going to be fantastic. It is sesame noodles and fried egg. Now, the best thing about our challenge, let's say you're a vegetarian. Well, there is a chart in the front of the book where you can substitute different protein. So if you don't wanna eat an egg, you can substitute for a different kind of vegetarian protein or throw in some chicken or you know beef, leftover beef from the night before. Whatever it is you're using, the idea is that again, as long as you're, you're balancing the plate, then you're good to go. And you can really substitute any kind of vegetable, protein, um, and grain that you like to create a delicious meal. So um, I always encourage people to follow the plan for you know at least the first four to six weeks so you really get into the habit of just prepping what is on the plan. But um, but again, you can choose what you what you want. So we're going to make this recipe. So it says to basically um, get your noodles into your wok and just start boiling that. So I am going to put my noodles in. All right, and you're gonna pretend that it's you know Tuesday night and I'm making dinner for my family. Uh, each of the recipes in the guide tells you how many servings it is. So this would be essentially four average adult servings. So for example, we have four of my family. Two of them are kids and then there's my husband who's about twice my size and me. So usually we divide it in four, but my hubby gets a little bit more I get, you know, the average portion size and the kids get a little bit less. And then there's one left over for us for lunch tomorrow. Or if it's a recipe that I just know the kids won't go for, we have dinner for my husband and I, and then we both have lunch the next day. Cook once, eat twice. That's our motto kind of here, especially in the Epic Life Challenge. The more you can serve yourself lunch from dinner before, the easier this becomes. So many times when I am cooking these recipes, I increase and I double batch. And then we have lunch for the next day. And, uh, or, you know, even a couple to go in the freezer for my husband to take to work for lunches. And, uh, and we are set, right? 
So meanwhile, in a bowl. So I've got my bowl and we need our, oh, and there's more seasonings, by the way, that come in this box. Look at all this stuff. So I need our general towel. So I'm making the general towel into this amazing noodle bowl tonight. So we're going to mix in our seasonings, mix in two tablespoons of soy sauce. And no, I don't measure, I never do, but I do this all the time, so it's pretty close. But if you are uh, someone who needs to measure, then measure, right? Everything is in these recipes for you. Um, one tablespoon of sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, don't worry. Use regular oil, whatever kind of oil you have. And one tablespoon of rice or white vinegar. Well, I don't have either, and I have white balsamic, so that's what's going in. Because again, vinegar is vinegar, right? And I'm going to customize this how I like and how I like to eat. So I'm just going to use the ingredients that I have in my home for things like this, and it just will make it easier. So we're gonna mix that into a sauce and it creates this sort of like thick paste, okay? And all the seasonings are gonna hydrate as it sits there. And, uh, and we're gonna leave that and just put it aside for a second. And then we are going to customize with our favorite veggies. So this is where the multi-purpose steamer comes in. It makes everything super, super fast. All I chose was some frozen peas because I had a giant bag of them from Costco. So I thought it would be perfect to throw those in and use those tonight. And I'm gonna use our ceramic chef knife. And I just had some mushrooms. So you can customize again. So here it says four cups of frozen or fresh veggies. So I am just using what I had in the fridge many times when I'm making recipes that are for my children. I just put what they like in it. If they like peppers, carrots, and peas, that's what I'm making. And you can see by my knife skills, I'm not a chef. <laughs> so um, you know, one of the things that I love about uh, the group that we've created as well. So again, if you're on the challenge and you are uh, participating by purchasing the kit from your consultant and signing up for the challenge, you're going to want to ask them about our team support group. So I've created a group where really it's just going to be more about things like this. Between myself and some of the other consultants, I'm going to be sharing different recipes that are not in the guide, things that I've been making for years that work on the plan and then give you like more ideas and more, you know, fun, different recipes to try. It's going to be a place where we talk about the exercise program that is put out by Epicure on the challenge. We're going to have some live calls where we do it together. We've got a yoga instructor on our team who's offered to run some yoga sessions and a karate instructor who's going to share some exercise tips. So it's going to be a really fun place. It's a private group on Facebook, and it's just going to be for our organization. So everyone who is participating together, and we're really going to do this together. We're going to have this space where it's just gonna be fun and uh, really supportive. And of course, you know, I might do some little fun things. I can't say it because this is a public Zoom call, but uh, I like to give things to people sometimes. So I might do stuff like that, but you, you get the point. Uh, so, okay, in my microwave, I'm going to pop this in. It says six minutes, but that is for frozen and hard veggies and mine are, so honestly, I'm putting mine in for two minutes, okay? And that's it. So I've got my noodles going. And you could probably imagine, um, the reason that our Epicure meals take such a short amount of time, you can imagine if I wasn't talking to you, I would probably even be doing this even quicker. 
Uh, these are almost ready. But the reason our Epicure meals take such a short amount of time is because Epicure has done most of the work for, for us in these blended seasonings, whether it's in the jars or the packages. And, you know, this is, this is really the key to healthy eating. When people have tried uh, meal plans where there's a lot of work involved and a lot of getting ingredients before you even start, it becomes really, really difficult. And it takes a lot of the joy out of cooking. I'll be honest, I'm someone who loves cooking, but I love cooking because I do it pretty much every night in 20 minutes or less. If I had to cook, cook you know, recipes that took me two hours with a whole bunch of ingredients, I just wouldn't enjoy it as much. And so this for me is one of the the real pillars of healthy eating is just having ingredients that are easy and ready to go. And so, you know, even just with this one thing that I'm sharing, I hope you can see that most of what you do with the Epicure recipes, uh, most of the stuff you already probably have in your pantry, uh, little things like soy sauce, you know, olive oil, some lime, uh, vinegar, all of these are the little things that are added into our meal blends that are already done for you. And then you're simply adding your favorite proteins and vegetables. So with the Epic Life program, there is literally hundreds of recipes in this guide. I don't know exactly how many. There is dessert. Um, there is dessert and you can have dessert, right? This is a plan where you're supposed to be enjoying food. So dessert is on the plan. Uh, and some of the things that I say, you know, as an Epicure consultant that helps people stay on the plan and portion those desserts properly is things like our perfect petite portion pan, uh, those silicone pans where you can go cook your little um, banana breads or brownies or whatever it is and portion them properly so that, you know, just that little bite after dinner of something sweet is sometimes all you need, right? So our veggies are done. And let's see what else it says. Oops, I lost my page. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a real chef by the, sometimes I get distracted with myself. Okay, so um, I'm going to drain my noodles. I'm going to add my noodles and my sauce to the steamer, toss it to combine. And uh, in my wok, I'm going to fry an egg. Now, I'm not going to fry an egg on the on camera tonight because we already ate dinner and this is now our dinner for tomorrow so i'm i'm not, I'm not going to do the egg i think that should be something that would be fresh but i am going to show you how i just portion everything and get it ready so let me just drain my noodles i've got my little collapsible epicure st uh, strainer here by the way and i love this because it doesn't take up any room in your drawer so i'm just going to drain my noodles and then I'm going to show you how quickly this just comes together. Bear with me for one second. So I would put that back on. I could use my wok for uh, my fried egg. Or again, if you want some uh, grilled chicken or something, you could sear some chicken in your wok. You could put some chicken in your multipurpose steamer and cook that up, you know, while you're while you're waiting. Or one of the things I love to talk about is meal prep. So you can see these, these are nicely kind of softened. Um, they smell delicious, even though it's just um, peas and mushrooms. Again, you could have put anything that you like in there. I'm gonna add in my sauce and, oh, and the general towel sauce. I wish you could smell it. It smells so, so, so delicious. You can add some fresh lime in here. If you like it spicy, you could throw in some chili uh, flakes or hot sauce, you know, anything really that you like that would bring up the heat. You know, if you've got like some habanero sauce or something, whatever your favorite is, I tend to put hot sauce on at the end of my meal and uh, I just, you know, toss it around and, and put it on for myself and my husband. So this smells so, so, so delicious. I'm going to toss it all together. Mm. I love the general towel. It's so, so yummy. But you can make that as a sauce, just as it says on the package, serve it over some rice. And, um, you know, just really anything you like in there, 
peppers, mushrooms, green beans, you know, anything you like. So this is really what it looks like. It is a delicious pasta dish. Again, you can add whatever kind of veggies in to add colors. Let this uh, sit for a minute while you cook your egg and then divide it in four. So how I do this is I use our four cup prep bowls. I divide my portions up and I have lunch for my husband and I for the next few days or dinner and lunch the next day. Uh, pop the lid on. Sometimes we eat things cold. Uh, but the key is, you know, when things are prepped and ready to go, it just makes eating properly and knowing, you know, how to portion everything so much easier. So this, this would be portioned in four and, or, you know, two for us, a little bit for the kids, one lunch left over, and I'd serve an egg on top of each one fresh when we were eating it. So I'm going to pop that aside. And I'm just going to talk a couple more things about, um, oh, you could, you know, you can garnish it with some green onions and things like that, whatever you like on top. In the picture, it shows green onions. And you can see in the picture, it actually has um, some carrots in, so different colors. It looks really pretty. And uh, yeah, it smells delicious. So I can't wait to eat that for lunch tomorrow. But a couple more things. So I'm gonna talk just a really um, quickly and then I'll just open it up if there's any questions. And uh, we'll talk about, uh, you know, we'll just talk about a couple more things. And um, if one of the consultants actually could pop in the sale price to the chat for me right now or come off mute uh, just in a few minutes and let us know what the price is. Uh, it's, it's kind of gone from my brain right now. And I don't want to say it wrong because it is 10% off right now. So it's a great time to uh, get your Epic Life program collection. Okay, $149.95 in Canada. Thank you, Sandra. If there's anyone who can share what that is in the US, that would be awesome. But I want to talk a little bit about um, just really, again, going back to the program. Um, we talk about the four pillars with, with uh, the Epic Life uh, epic lifestyle and it's taste frequency quantity and quality so if you don't have good taste then you're not going to keep eating these foods right you're not going to keep on a lifestyle plan or a meal plan or even if you want to call it a diet which i don't think you should but if you want to go ahead uh, but it needs to taste good now you're probably here because you already love epicure so you know that uh, the taste is already there. And what I love about Epicure is again, you know, you can customize to your liking. We've created these blends so that they suit most palettes, but if you wanna add those spicier things or a little bit more lime or even a little bit of sea salt, right? Because we are a very low sodium uh, company, then you can do that and, and really bring up the flavors to your liking. So frequency. Frequency that we talk about on this lifestyle is three balanced meals a day, no snacks. We've been programmed by the diet industry that we need to eat like seven or eight times a day. Um, and how we feel here at Epicure is uh, we like three meals a day, three balanced meals a day with micro fasts in between. So you are creating a little bit of space of time in between each meal so that your body is, is getting to that sort of micro fast and burning the right energies to help you, you know, uh, maintain a healthy weight, but also be sustained through that time period. Okay. 13150 in the U S thank you, Joanne. Um, and you know, a lot of times snacking is just what people do without even thinking. They're not even hungry. You should actually be hungry at meal times. You should be hungry when it's time to sit down for dinner. And many people aren't because we've been programmed to think that we need a lot of snacks in between. And, uh, and it's simply not true from a real nutritional standpoint. Uh, and I understand that people feel differently and uh, people have done things that have worked differently, but this is just how we feel here, you know, with the Epic Life program and the Epic Life Challenge. And so this is what we promote. And this is what we know works for, for most people who are eating this way. Quantity. Well, it's the right amount of food in the right combinations. We don't want you to cut out 
you know, things like all of your carbs or, or all of the healthy fats. Uh, we want you to eat everything in the right portions. And that is usually the way that you can sustain energy throughout the day and get all those things done that you need to do and feel good and, uh, and still maintain a healthy waistline. Uh, and quality. Well, quality is really the food that you're eating. You know, you can eat uh, 500 calories of good quality food and be completely full and satisfied and satiated and have energy to last you through the next six hours. Or you can eat 500 calories of crap <laughs> or, 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 or even, even 500 calories at the movies, for example, you know, it's, it's a completely different thing. So when you focus on getting the right foods in first, the right quality, then uh, chances are you're not going to feel like you need to snack on those sugary things or those sweet things that just add extra calories. So that is just kind of like a little overview of those four pillars. Um, it talks about healthy habits in the challenge. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, it talks about moving and getting your muscles moving. It gives you some little exercises here in the, in the guide just as a starting point. But there is a seven-minute uh, workout challenge that Epicure provides when you're, when you're signed up for the challenge itself. And again, we'll be doing this in our support group. Um, it talks about journaling and why it's important for certain people. One of the one of the sections I love. It talks about what to eat when you're going out. You know, I I love seeing people who live a healthy lifestyle, but that are out. I know we can't go out right now for most of us. <laughs> we can't go out. We're in lockdown. But when that's over, you know, going out to restaurants is one of the things that many of us love. It is such a social thing and we enjoy it. And we don't want to be stressed when we are going there and trying to eat healthy. Uh, it really talks about how to do that healthfully and, and in the right way, eating eating many foods at many restaurants without feeling, um, you know, stressed out about it. It does talk about uh, having, finding a good relationship with food. That's a key factor. You know, many people don't have a good relationship with food because they are constantly stressed out about it. We are foodies. We love food. We don't want you to be stressed out. We want you just to understand what goes into a balanced plate. So, um, I hope this is giving some great, great information. Um, there's some great pages in the guide that, you know, if you don't feel like following the recipes that week or something doesn't appeal to you, you just pop into the build your own soup page. And it talks about, you know, uh, choose one lean protein and it gives you a bunch of choices. Choose one vegetable, it gives you a bunch of choices. Choose two carbs, it gives you a bunch of choices. And it really just gives you, um, you know, different options. So you can really use whatever you have in your fridge. And there's one of those for build your own breakfast, build your own lunch, build your own dinner. And uh, so you can really create any kind of meals you enjoy. Um, uh, it's got grocery lists. So it helps you when you're heading out to the grocery store for that week's meal plan, you know what to purchase. And, um, and it also talks about a little bit about prepping ahead. So a couple of things that I've always done, and I, I, I do it all the time, is when I get home from the grocery store, I don't put any fruits or veggies in the fridge without really kind of just prepping them a little bit, washing them, getting ready, ready to eat. And that way, uh, you know, they're ready to go and we end up eating them. And uh, so I plan my grocery shopping when I know I can do that prep after I don't kind of, um, you know, I, I, I really, I really try to look ahead and it really helps to be able to keep that time free for that specific purpose. I make things like uh, batches of chicken. So my son and husband eat chicken and uh, my daughter and I generally don't. Uh, so I will make a big batch in the steamer and I'll have that ready in the fridge. So today, for example, for lunch, my son had a little snack platter with some veggies and some fruit and a little bit of crackers and some cut up chicken that was already ready. And those are the kinds of things I could throw chicken in those noodles for him if he didn't want the egg. And uh, so I do a lot of prepping ahead of simple things like that. And those things last in the fridge, you know, three to four days, sometimes even a little bit more. So 
these are the kind of things we're going to talk about in our support group and uh, really share more ideas like this as we go through the challenge. Uh, I make batches of our dressing. You can make a batch of dressing and have that to marinate chicken, you know, pour over some noodles, pour over a salad, um, you know, really anything and everything. Um, if you can, you can toss something in your wok and instead of putting in oil to give it a stir fry, throw in some of that prepared dressing. So all of these things we're going to talk about and give you some more ideas as we're going through the challenge. But we're going to do these things together weekly in that group. So I'd love to open it up. If you have, you know, heard everything you want to hear, feel free to, you know, leave this call whenever you are, you know, whenever you like. If you are, I'm going to share, I'm going to take a photo of the plate tomorrow with the egg on it. And I'll share it with all the consultants so they can share it with you if you're on here, just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but I can tell you, even now that it's been sitting here a little bit longer and those seasonings have hydrated, um, it, it is going to be a really, really, really delicious pasta noodle dish. And it smells delicious. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mine is pretty bland, like mushrooms and green, pe and green peas. They're not very, but like, they're not the most colorful of veggies, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to open it up to the chat if anybody wants to pop off, if you have anything to share. Um, if you don't have your Epic Life kit program yet and, uh, and you want to get that, I would suggest doing that soon. The next challenge begins on May 10th. And really that week before is what we call a little prep week. I'm going to start posting everything for our prep week, May 1st in our private group. And Epicure usually starts posting a lot of their things for prep week on May 4th. So just so you know, um, you know what the timelines are there, but you're going to want to have your kit and your collection and everything ready to go so that you are, you're all set and you've had a little bit of time to read the guide and, and whatnot. So if you want to come off mute, if you have any questions or if the consultants had any questions they need to share from the chat, um, I would love to, I'd love to hear that. And I thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little this little cooking class and uh, info session. I, I, I could talk about this for hours, really.